entrepreneurship for me really boils down to three things. One, this relentless focus on social impact, using financial tools only as a means towards that end of social impact. Two, innovation. So not just looking at um, how to take a traditional method and keep doing it as you've always been doing it, but how to do it in some way that's brand new and that serves the third goal, I think, which is scale. Self-awareness, so important to understand who you are before you try to lead any initiative. Support network, this is hard. And if you're going to try to do it alone, you're not going to make it. So surround yourself with people who are like-minded and that will inspire you every step of the way and that will have your back when you're falling. Money alone and capital alone is not enough. What really matters is leadership at the end of the day because we've seen that many of these challenges are so enormous um, and that this field is so new that in fact what you really need are leaders who possess a combination of skills, one of which we call moral imagination, the ability to put yourself in the shoes of the person you're serving and see the world from their perspective, along with the business skills, the operational and financial um, expertise that you really need to create a sustainable enterprise. I think the university experience is such an amazing time to have all of these resources available at your disposal, your professors, these libraries. So take this time that is, you know, in a lot of ways, time that um, is exploratory and become the expert in something that you're really interested in and feel motivated by. In becoming the expert, it doesn't mean that you have to read every book that is out there about a subject. Actually talk to people. Who is the best at everything that I want to do? And then go and talk to them and learn how they got there. I approach the social entrepreneurship field as cynic. I think that over time, though, working in this space has actually shaped me into an optimist about what's possible. Um, and so I think that there is a skeptic in each and every one of us and also an optimist and you always have to listen to the optimist while always being um, you know, constructively critical in how you continue to, to build because that's what you're doing every day when you're working in something as new as social entrepreneurship. <laughs>